Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create a Surf UI application that is able to filter based on the selected date. So let's go ahead and check out the demo first. You can see that I'm going to select September 12th and the only book that was published on September 12th will be displayed. Now, if I go ahead and select September 11, now I have two entries. For September 10, I have one entry. And for September 9, I don't have any entries. But I can always press the reset button to reset the filter. So there you have it. This is exactly what we'll be building. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing we need is some sort of a struct that is holding the values to represent something that we want to filter. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a book. We'll also make it identifiable so we can kind of like loop over it. It will have a couple of different fields. We will start with the ID, the title, and the date published. Great. Next, we need to create an instance of the book where the ID will be assigned automatically. We will assign the title and we will also assign some sort of a hard-coded dates. So in order to create a date object based on the year, month and the day, we're going to go ahead and simply perform an extension on the date. And I'm going to go ahead and create a static function. I'll call it from where you can pass in the year, month, and also the day. There we go. We're going to first create the calendar. Oops, let's go ahead and create the calendar, which is the calendar.current. Next, we're going to go ahead and create date components and instance of the date components because the date components is actually going to allow us to set the year, the month, and the day. So year, and the same thing we can do for the month and the day. Correct. And finally, we need to return the date. So I'm going to go ahead and say return, which is calendar.date from date components, which we can pass. If there's a problem, well, we're just going to use the current date. Okay. So now we have the date extension with the from static function. Great. The next thing that we need to do is to create an array of books. Hard-coded books is fine in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. And we're going to a little bit talk about this at what is this. So over here, you can see that we have created the books, which is the instance. And it is an array which contains a couple of different books with different dates. And now you can see that we are using the date from function that we implemented earlier on, passing in the year, the month, and the day. Okay, so that's great. We have a books array that is going to allow us to show all the books. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can simply list out the books. We can go ahead and iterate through the books. We will get access to the book. And we should be able to show the title of the book. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we can see the title of the book. That's great. We also would like to see the date published. So I'm going to say text date, not date, but book dot date published. And the style that we're going to use is the date. All right, so that also looks good. We can actually perform a little bit of an alignment over here for leading so that everything is aligned correctly. Okay, so that looks fine. The next thing that we need to do is to add the date picker. All right. And other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this list inside of vStack so I can just add more controls over here. We can use the date picker. We can perform the title, which is search by date. And the selection, this means that whenever you will select a date, it's going to go to a state variable called selected date, which we don't have. 
So let's go ahead and create that variable. I'm just going to go over here and create the variable on line number 32. Let's go ahead and see what it displays. So it's still refreshing. Let's try to refresh it. Okay, so it says search by date and it's allowing us to select a date, but it's also allowing us to select the time. Now, I don't really care that much about the time, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. But first, let me go ahead and add a little bit of a padding. There we go. And the displayed components that we're interested in is only the date. And now you can see that it is showing us just the date itself not the time. We also want to create some sort of a reset button. So let's go ahead and create a reset button. We'll call it reset or clear filters or whatever you want to call it, clear filters. Okay, there we go. And you can put the button wherever you want, on the left, on the right, whichever, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now what we want to do is whenever we select a date, from the date picker, we want to filter this. Well, the first thing is that when you select something from the date picker, how can we find out that you have, well, selected something? So let's go ahead and do that. We will do that by using the on change modifier. And in the on change modifier, the first argument is basically what do you want to kind of like listen on so i'm just going to say whenever the selected date changes you let me know and you will provide me the new date so that value will be the actual new date this value right there the reason is that the selected date is of type date so the on change is going to fire whenever the selected date is going to change and the selected date is going to change whenever i go about and change the date kind of like this Okay, so what should we do inside the on change? Well, one of the things we need to do is we need to filter the books based on the date. Now, I can't really do that because if I do this, I will lose my books, which is my hard-coded array, and then it, there will be no way to get it back. So I can't really overwrite books. For that purpose, I'm just gonna go ahead and create another array and I will call it filtered books. And the filtered books will be, well, it will display the books that are filtered. Now we can go over here and say filtered books, and we can perform a filter based on books.filter, and our filter will be based on the date, and the granularity of the date will be till the day. So the month, the year, and the day have to be the same. So we can use the calendar.current.compare and we can use that to compare the date. So over here, I can pass in the date published for the book to a particular date, which is the selected date, and to granularity, which is day. That is means that the month and the day and the year have to be same. And we're just gonna go ahead and go with the ordered same. So meaning that they are ordered same meaning uh, month, day, and year has to be ordered in the same way, okay? So this is going to give us the filtered books. And another thing that we can do is when the on appear fires, on appear, we can set the filtered books to the books and then replace this part with filtered books. So we're always kind of like dealing with the filtered books because filtered books is the one that's going to get changed whenever you select a particular date. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a run. I'm gonna select nine. Okay, I got nothing over here. Do we have a date with nine? Well, we do actually have a date with uh, September 9th. Let's see, let's see, nine, okay, month. Okay, I don't think I, we have that. So let's go ahead and select 10. Okay, so we for 10, we have that. For September 11, okay, it didn't really do anything. September 12, it didn't do anything. So one of the things that you should do is always try to run this, anything with the date picker in an actual simulator. Because sometimes I've seen this Xcode preview is not working correctly. But let's go ahead and see if it's working over here. 
Okay, September 12 is working fine. September 11, you can see, is definitely working fine. Mastering Swift and Professional Git Boot are for September 11. How about September 12, uh, 10? Introduction to JavaScript. How about September 9? Okay, nothing over here. All right. So it looks like it's uh, on to a good start, but whenever there is no book, we are displaying nothing. So it would be a good idea to show something. So if the filtered books is actually empty, then we can go ahead and display a text message saying no books, books found. And just to make sure that our text is centered, I'm gonna go ahead and put spacer. If the filtered books is not empty, then and only then, you can go about displaying the list of books, okay? All right, let's go ahead and run it in a simulator. And I'm gonna go ahead and select a date. We can see there is one book for September 12. What about if I select September 7? And you can see that there are no books. Uh, it does work, but uh, it kind of messes up, you can see, the alignment. Okay, let's go ahead and select September 11. Okay, so now it's working fine again. Okay, so we need to make sure that everything is working fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and the layout is working fine. So a spacer, I'm gonna add the spacer over here. And after the L's, probably right over here, we're gonna go ahead and put the spacer also to push everything up. Let's go ahead and run it again. And now let's go ahead and select seven. And now it says no books found. And if I select something, you can see it's working fine. Great. Now, one of the things you may need at this point is you want to say clear the filters, meaning you want to kind of like go back to viewing all the books. But right now that is not available. So what should we do inside clear filters? When you clear the filters, how about if we simply say filtered books equals to books? I mean, that is kind of like saying clear the filter because it should display all the books, right? So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset something out. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no books found, clear filters, I got everything. Now, if I have everything and I simply say clear filters, well, it doesn't really do much. But if I have a couple of books and I say clear filtered, again, it's clear filtered. And now we're back to the books that we're displaying. So you can see that with not a lot of code, we were able to achieve a filter operation, which is filtering the books based on the date in Surf UI. So hope you have enjoyed this simple tutorial. Thank you so much.